We don't tolerate that amongst our members. We have respect for each other. Censured for threatening speech that damaged the reputation of the state Senate. That's the official language. Hours ago, Arizona senators overwhelmingly voted to reprimand Republican Wendy Rogers. It comes after recent comments she made about violence against her political enemies and support for Vladimir Putin. ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw is live outside the state Senate tonight. Zach Rogers has certainly been controversial for quite some time. Why the censure now? Well, Steve, I think the GOP and the colleagues really wanted to send her a message. They felt like she crossed a line this past week. They wanted to let her know that her violent, threatening, sometimes anti-Semitic language does not represent this larger leg legislative body. This happened. Tuesday, senators rose to discuss the conduct of Wendy Rogers. What we do not condone is members threatening each other. Over the past week, Senator Rogers' comments have garnered national attention and condemnation. I truly respect Nick. The Arizona state senator from Flagstaff gave a virtual address at known anti-Semite Nick Fuentes' white nationalist conference, AFPAC. And now they're going on about Russia and Vladimir Putin is Hitler, and they say that's not a good thing. And she also posted this photoshopped picture on her social media, showing herself next to Fuentes over a dead rhino with the Star of David on it. Some would call it anti-Semitic. In her speech to that extremist group, Rogers talked about hanging fellow Americans. And use a newly built set of gallows. It'll make an example of these traitors who- In the days that followed, she's praised Putin, called her Senate colleagues communists, threatened to quote, destroy the career of any Republican against her, and- Called Zelensky a glo globalist puppet for Soros. All of it leading Senator Rick Gray to propose a censure, the first in at least 30 years. Senator Rogers was visibly shaking as she defended herself. This censure, is nothing more than an attempt to limit my speech. Senate President Karen Fan, a fellow Republican, pushed back. So this is not about freedom of speech. That does not give you leeway to threaten people. This censure is purely symbolic. Rogers still on all of her subcommittees. I don't believe our action today will have any effect on this behavior. I vote nay. Only two other Republicans joined Rogers. 24 voted to censure her, and three didn't vote at all. Now, last week, Governor Ducey defended his decision to help elect Rogers, but in a statement tonight, he said hateful language has no place in Arizona and support for Russia and Putin is dangerous. Live outside the Capitol, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.